it's Robin from Central Florida Gardening in Orlando, Central Florida. And I'd like to say hi to my cohorts in this process, Chris and Tiva. And we hope that you would subscribe to our channel. We will be visiting many different areas in Central Florida, local foods, local gardens, local co-ops, many different things. So to start off today, I'm gonna to talk about water. We've had a lot of rain in this area. And so I haven't had to water very much, but there comes a time in Florida when you have to water. No matter if you have range catch, catchment system or not, it gets pretty tough around here. I mean, yeah, you can store up that water, but you really have to have a big system in order to do it. It's either feast or famine here. And usually it's famine, unfortunately. So to keep your water bill down or to keep your garden from sucking up all the aquifer water and such with wells, use a good system. And my good system is Mr. Landscape. It's a sprinkler system, drip system. It's anything I want it to be. They have many attachments and different options that you can use for your garden. So the first thing you do is you buy the kit, which is about $30 at Lowe's, and it comes with an adapter for the faucet and outdoor spigot. You attach it to it, it has a filter, you can get a timer for $30. There's all sorts of things that you can do with the system. And it comes with a main hose that you hook to your faucets. You bring this out and you can um, tee it off different areas of your garden with a tee or an angle. This, of course, is an angle. Or a tee. You put the main hose into this side and then branch it off to the side. Keep on plugging in your drips or your sprinklers. I am going to show you a drip. I've already kind of put it together many times on this video. But this is an ongoing drip, so I can keep adding to it. Cut this off. And then when I'm done adding to it, I can put an end drip to it. Or I can put one of these, I call them my oops buttons. It's just a little button. And you put it into the end of the hose that you have your drips on, and it stops the water from coming. Of course, I'd probably put it shorter, but this is how it goes. This will have an attachment that goes into the hose. You make your hole, make that sound because that makes it go in better. You put your attachment in, you attach it to the hose, you bring out your drip however long you measure to your pots, your five gallon buckets, your raised beds, or any certain area that you want to water without watering the whole surface area. So if you don't want weeds, but you want your plant to grow, this is a great option. You're not watering the weeds and you're not wasting water. So that's uh, an attachment. I'm done. I'm done putting my, my, my hose together. Everything's hooked up. Everything's looking great. Everything's where I want it to be. You put on this piece here, put it on one side, bend it. Bring it back up. You stop the water from coming. Oh, but wait. I just added a new raised bed. Well, you just take it off. Cut it if it's crimped too much or been sitting there for a long time. Cut it. Add to it. They have these in straights also, so you can add it another one to it to make it go longer. Uh, they have them in the T and they have them in the e. So those are kind of the tools I use. This is also a sprinkler head that goes on top, and I'll show you in a minute. And this goes five to seven feet. So in my backyard, where I have a big pool and not much grass, I use these. And these are enough to water the grass and my gardens, along with the drip systems. You can get really creative with the system and you can put it in, I have a, a doggy composter that needs to be watered to help it compost. Um, so I put a drip system in there. I drip into the animals' water bowls out here. I have two chickens and two rabbits. and I also will show you my bird bath. It's getting kind of dark, so I'm not sure how well we'll see, but I'm gonna show you now the different systems that I have and the different attachments I have. This first one, try not to wiggle. You can see it's spraying a little bit right here. I'm gonna turn it off. Look, you can turn them off. I'm gonna lift it up for your viewing enjoyment. This is a stake. 
you stake it in, you put the sprinkler either here or you put this long attachment to it and raise it up and put it up here. This is not one of the twirly ones. This is just, I don't want to water all the way around because there's concrete around it. Why would I want to water it? Of course, some mist gets on it, but at least I'm not directly watering onto the concrete. So they have different angles. They have quarter round, half round, you know, different directionals that you can do. And it, like I said, it's getting dark. This is my bird bath. And I water my bird baths so the birds can have fresh water. And here is my drip system. And it is zip tied to a shepherd's hook. And it just drips right down into the bird bath. Again, this is how you get creative with this. And then that I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a sprinkler head here. And over here, these are low-lying ones. This one actually does have an extender on it. So we're going to just go over a brief moment to us. No, we're really not. We're going to the drip that I did put in. I wanted to videotape it, but it didn't work out so well because I had doggies and barking and stuff. This is a drip system already installed. Here is the hole. I attached it, and here are my drips. And they are dripping. As you add on to these sprinkler systems, you want to go from the beginning to the end. If they start to get slow or not spraying properly, then you know you have too many on. I have this wrapped around my whole entire yard. I just added on my husband built for me for Mother's Day. I'm going to put a T, or not a T, but an angle, right angle here. I'm going to carry on the main line, which I already have drips going into here in a main sprout, or sp spout, <laughs> and I have drips going over here. But I have these new pots that I've shown you in previous videos that my husband made, uh, made me, and there's cucumber, squash, patty pan, crooked neck, and peppers. But they have no water system in them. It's been raining so much I haven't really even bothered. But I will at one point have to water these. So I will put one drip in each and then carry on, see how they do. And if I need to add more, it's a simple measure just to add more. So thank you for joining me and my Central Florida garden. Please subscribe and view many of our other videos that we'll, we will be bringing to you in the coming months. And we appreciate your time. I hope you have a great day.